Could June be the month that Cardano breaks out massively to the upside? Oh, let's take a look. Oh, let's do it. So we're going to start here. We've got Cardano 3.47 billion ADA backs up as price touches weekly support. So ADA sits on major support where significant amounts of ADA being held is really, really interesting. And um, look, if we have a look here, see if we can actually uh, bring it up here, we can see obviously the price is in a really neutral position. According to Into the Block data, 3.47 billion date ADA uh, were, were bought by 350,000 or so addresses uh, ranging between 37 cent one and 43 cent one, an average price of 39 cent 44. So look, this is really interesting to, to see. I don't think that a lot of people really understand what is about to happen with Cardano. For me, we've got a really significant upgrade and we've always seen price discovery when we're about to see these upgrades. So we've got Charles Hoskinson here. It looks like June will be the month the Cardano node will reach 9.0. This means that the Cardano is Chang Fork ready and waiting for 70% of the SPOs to install the new node. Then the hard fork can occur, pushing Cardano into the age of Voltaire. This is a really big, really big deal. And um, you know, this is going to basically bring in... Um, you know, I guess, uh, like the the voting aspect of things, the governance, uh, and an immense scaling, uh, and you know, it does set Cardano ahead of a lot of other projects. So for me, this is really interesting. It's something that you know I'm I'm excited about, and I I think that a lot of people don't understand actually uh, what this actually means for Cardano and. Uh, Lots of people telling me Cardano is dead. Lots of FUD out there. And this is how the market gets you, right? Gets you all emotional. And uh, they like to, you know, get you out of positions. And uh, I'm super excited about what's going on with Cardano. We've got the total market cap of crypto globally down 0.29%, standing at $2.53 trillion. Bitcoin at 69,359.28. Uh, pretty neutral at 0 0.02. Uh, percent up for the last 24 hours and a quarter of percent in the last seven days. Ethereum at 3,673.42, uh, down 0.41% in the past 24 hours, but 3.73% in the last seven days. And then we've got Cardano down in temp for 44, eight, 44 cent eight, that is up 1.4%. 9% or just changed to 1.29. So look, um, already starting to see some, some uh, moves to the upside after the most recent pullback that we've seen. But moving on to, to Bitcoin, I want to have a look at some of the, um, I guess, the articles that are out there, the headlines. Um, I think that it's really important that we look at this stuff. We've got Bitcoin bags, 2 billion inflows, EFC's highest institutional buy since March. So one trader uh, expects ETH price to hit $10,000 in 2024. I think that's inevitable. Uh, a nearly 200% increase from the current level of 3,600. I think that this is really, really um, possible. I think that, you know, there's going to be a lot more uh, ETH being bought than Bitcoin, in my opinion. We've got the Bitcoin ETF soak up two months of BTC mining supply in uh, the first week of June. Again, just gives you an idea of you know what happens when these big institutions get involved in you know these investment instruments, right? I want to talk about this because a lot of people aren't recognizing that you know when these big institutions come. They try to part you from the asset, right? And they try to take all of it and they try to make it a game. You know, I, I was talking to, to somebody, you know, massively in the know earlier and they were saying like, it's like a sandbox just for them to play with, play in, right? And that is very much what's happening with Bitcoin. So just be mindful of that, right? Uh, better the devil you know um, than, than where we're going. We've got Bitcoin ETFs accum uh, accumulate 19 
consecutive days of inflows. Again, just really bullish sentiment, right? I want to be really quite clear on this. We got Bitcoin scores second highest close ever. Again, just more bullish news. Um, moving on uh, and, and moving away from from Bitcoin uh, because uh, I don't want to spend a, a lot of time focusing on what has happened and where we could have made money. I want to focus on where we can make money. And uh, one of those things, um, yeah, and I've talked about this longer than than I'm going to say everybody, right? Um, you know, you even had uh, Michael Saylor coming out saying there was going to be no ETF for any other altcoin, just Bitcoin. I said he was wrong. I was calling for an Ethereum spot ETF. I said it would be inevitable. Uh, and I was talking about this before the approval of the Bitcoin ETF. And not only that, I went on further to say to expect, um, you know, spot ETS for the likes of Solana, XRP, uh, Cardano, Avalanche, um, Chainlink, just to list a few. Um, and this is why I think Solana is a really good proposition. I think Solana will get a spot ETF. I think it's inevitable. Um, I think that it will happen. There's big money involved uh, pushing Solana forward. Um, don't get me wrong. It's shitcoin city and you know i'm not a big fan of solana as i'm not a big fan of uh of ethereum but i'm telling you now that you know expect a lot of money to be flowing into solana um not just for the the shit coins um i think that there is a car crash on the way for or potential car crash on the way for solana you know just to couple what i'm saying here with uh, a spot etf for solana um is no um yeah, it's not a foregone conclusion that it gets it, but you know, I, I do think it is inevitable it will get there. Um, but you know, you've got uh, Van der Pope uh, telling his seven hundred and nineteen thousand three hundred followers on social media platform X uh, that you know is winding up for a move to the upside, uh, and I think that we could see that right. Not um, looking at the technical analysis aspect of things, but really just focus on the fundamentals, where I think the market's going, where we're heading and all that wonderful stuff. Now, with that said, I do think that people need to be aware, uh, you know, of what's going on from an economic standpoint, where we are kind of, you know, in the in the world of, of finance, right, outside of crypto. So we got um, the, I think it's the 11th and 12th, the FOMC meeting. Um, it's going to be really interesting. I, I expect to pause uh, I expect a rally on out of um, the the news, um, but this market is going to be very volatile this week. Uh, lots of uh, talks. You've got Europe talking about potentially uh, doing a pivot. I think we're really, really close to a Fed pivot. Uh, I've been predicting for over a year now, Q3 2024 Fed pivot. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see whether that actually transpires or whether I'm wrong. I don't care either way. Um, you know, I've got money on the side to invest if we do crash massively, but I've also got a lot of money in the market if we rally on up and uh, we've got a great opportunity to take, you know, some some money out of, um, you know, crypto and, and, and profits, right? So, um, yeah, look, they're talking about it here being, you know, potential, um, you know, uh, unchanged week for interest rates, strong job data. So May is the the main rationale behind that. But I do want to caveat that the banks are struggling, right? There's some real big problems with commercial property and uh, there's a lot of exposure from the banks. So just be mindful of all of that. We've got the economic calendar here. Uh, so you've got the uh, OPEC monthly report on Tuesday, May CPI inflation data on Wednesday, Fed interest rate decision Wednesday, Fed press conference Wednesday, May PPI inflation data Thursday, MI consumer sentiment data on Friday. So look, there's a lot going on and uh, we need to be monitoring all this stuff in order to be successful in this crypto space. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.